Silent Hill 4 is rated M by the SRB. Viewer discretion is advised. I totally had a brain fart. I have to go back here because I totally forgot. Shut up, Pat. Shut up, Wolf. Shut up. Anyway, uh, as you can see, Henry is looking at something. And it's not the gravestones, even though it probably could be the gravestones. More specifically, he's looking at this thing, which is a health drink. Which is yeah, very helpful, especially in the latter part of the game. Seeing that we don't have our magical healing apartment anymore. Alright, so we got pretty much everything to this area, so we just need to go and complete it, basically. But we also got to avoid victim ghosts, hopefully not get hit by them. Ooh, swing and a miss there, buddy. No pain aura, no pain aura. We are going here. We got to get old Jasper's car. We got some more writing. I really don't know if I'm going to do a, a thing with the whole story that you get from these red things where you got to bring Eileen around to read them because it's really just extra f extra is there something here does that usually mean something's here so i don't know if i'm gonna actually do that it's more backstory to walter and why he does the things he does and so forth so yeah but if you're interested in that stuff i would say yeah definitely go check it out there's probably something at least on the interwebs that you could probably look at. Okay, there's Eileen. There you go. Jingle, jingle. She got that chain. All right. How you looking there, Eileen? Mm, you're looking a little worse for wear. Anyway, let us uh, complete the doll pieces with one and two. Out of the all the things they could have done for a puzzle for the stage, they had to choose that one, where you could literally just push the wheelchair back, but you had to go around the entire forest to get doll parts. So it moves back and crashes, like a crash test dummy. Oh well. There's a, a staircase going down. Am I going to go down? Yeah, why not? Got some candles. Got some raggedy things. We got this be Silent Hill Woods. Yeah, probably. It's by Tuduka Katuka Lake. Yeah, I would say definitely. So we got the uh, the crest there and a book. Let us look at the book. There's a book here. It looks some kind of Bible. The Descent of the Holy Mother, the 21 Sacraments. The first sign, and God said, At the time of the fullest, the cleanse of the world within my rage. Gather four 
gutter forth the white oil, the black cup, and the blood of the ten sinners. Prepare for the ritual of the holy assumption. The second sign, and God said, Offer the blood of the ten sinners and the white oil. Be then released from the bonds of the flesh and gain the power of the heavens. From the darkness of the void, bring forth gloom and grit thyself with despair for the giver of wisdom. The third sign, and God said, return to the source through the sin's temptation under the watchful eye of the demon wandering alone in the formless chaos. Only then the four atonements be in alignment. The last sign, and God said, separate the flesh too. She is who the mother reborn, and he who is the receiver of wisdom. If this is the done, the mystery of the 21 sacraments and the mother shall be reborn and the nation of the sin will be redeemed. Holy cow, I really do not like reading religious stuff because it just, oh, like I have trouble reading to begin with and reading stuff that really just is not have like proper grammar and uh anyway that's that's a whole tangent i don't even want to get into anyway we got a door but it's locked but there is a round depression about 10 inches wide here if only we had something like that we do we have a round thing You put the crest of the medallion into the depression. And we go through the door. And we are back in the spiral staircase. A little more bloodier this time, actually, I think. Maybe. A little bit more. You coming with me, Eileen? Let's get going. I really wish I could turn my camera around. And there's a sheep. A random sheep. Because you know why. Why not a random sheep? And we're going to get into the hole. And we're going to hit the hole. Let's go into... Oh, that's kind of unnerving a little bit. Hmm, just looking at that. Anyway. Into the hole. Let's go back to the apartment. Ooh. There's it's quiet on the front. Let's see if it's even more quiet on the front. It's eerily quiet. Too quiet. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. Is there no haunting? No, there is a haunting in here. And that's how you can tell if there's a haunting in here. You take the radio, and if there's static, there's a haunting. So there's a haunting in here somewhere. Where is it? Is it? Oh my god, is it the one that I think it is? Oh, there it is, yeah. Okay, as you can see, the peephole has some blood on it. Oh, is this the one I'm looking at? Oh, really? Okay, so we're going to not take care of this right now. I'm going to look through the peephole. And then we have Henry as a victim ghost. Really glad you actually can't take damage during this thing here. 
but yeah, it's kind of creepy seeing yourself as pretty much dead on the other side of the door that you can't get out of. Okay, uh, yeah, let us, uh, let's take care of this ghost problem. I'll get rid of that nutrition drink. Um, I have any candles. I do not have any candles, so it is going to be Saint Medallion time. I highly doubt that's going to actually do something, so let's get both of them. And let us wear the broken one first. Let us go into the aura. And get the second one ready for thing because I'm pretty sure it, yep and is it gone and when the aura fades and the same medallion is no longer being used the haunting is gone and it is no more Henry okay cool so that's how you take care of victim ghosts without a candle, but, you know, with the Saint Medallion. Although I have to say the Saint Medallion is a lot better in the actual world against victim ghosts. But hey, can't win them all. Now, the next area. Do I need anything for the next area? I don't think so. Okay, we are going to go here. Just want to make sure everything is neat and tidy. I'm pretty sure there's no other ghost. Nope. Just want to make sure. I've been relatively keeping tabs on on taking care of hauntings. But if you don't, you could have multiple hauntings. So just make sure that you take care of all the hauntings. Anyway, let's go back and tackle the next area. Gives me the willies every time I see it. All right, so Eileen, I don't want you to have a This must be what hell is like. You have no idea, Eileen. No idea. So we're not gonna have Eileen equipped um, during the first part of this a little bit. There's a hanging body there, swinging back and forth. Ooh, you are that. Ooh, she's starting to sound like a kid, and that is does not sound good. Ooh, I got. I might have to see if I can heal her a little bit. Yeah, rust, blood and rust, in a Silent Hill game. Beautiful. So there is a hole to go back to the apartment if need be. And if you have not unequipped Eileen, I suggest do it now before we go through the store because we are going to be dealing with the man in the coat. And he's going to be, <laughs> he's going to be back and eat. And I really don't want to deal with him right away. So, uh, excuse me, sir. I need to get out of here with Eileen. All right, so he is going to be coming really fast, so I need to... Come on, Eileen, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Eileen, let's go. You no know, sidestep, don't worry about it. Just take care of Hummers, why not? Gotta take care of some of them. Come on, 
Come on, Aileen. Let's go. Let's go. Ignore them. Let's go. Let's go. Are you coming? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. He's taking care of the Hummers. He don't like Hummers. He don't like flying bats. Don't like flying bats. Hopefully he doesn't catch up with me. And we're good. That's probably the most painful part in this uh, it's so damp and gross here it's a water place of course it is all right so we're on the third floor of the water prison so we're gonna go all around we're not gonna go down any hole right now but we're gonna investigate all the rooms And I believe that Hylian got hit by one of those toadstools, but, you know, kind of unavoidable. You and me, Eileen? All right. As far as I know that we have already looked at this. Yep, we've already looked at that. Anything else of interest? Not really, nope. Oh, we got twin victims. All right, get over here. Eileen, don't go after her. Him. Hit. Hold him up. Ooh. Nope. Nope. Uh, one good thing about Eileen is that she can actually... Well... Maybe it's not a good thing, but you can... She can help you fight. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, pistol bullets? Sure. Cool. Okay, we got some more guns. Gun and gun-related things. It's gonna go with propane and propane accessories, but hey... Not really. Alright, anything else out of the ordinary other than books? No? Nope. Most of the information is relatively the same. Okay, so we got a um, a hole in this one. We got another hole in this one, and I believe that's the one where you need to go down. But first of all, what what do you see, Henry? What do you see? It's written on the paper, blah, 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 same thing. Is that it? Oh, it's a holy candle. Come to Papa. Oh, yeah. All right, we got a victim ghost. Victim, victim, twin victim. It is a, not a victim ghost. It is a... Oh, what a... I didn't even plan that. What do you mean? I actually mean... Oh, I'm sorry. I totally planned that. It's not like I... winded up and... knew he was going to get back up again. Oh, lordy, no. Absolutely, nope. We are not going to deal with Wallman. Nope, 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 nope. Put that, put that chain back in your skirt there, lady. And we, I believe we are back... Beautiful. Okay, so uh, let us go. I believe it is that one. It is that one. Yes. Okay. So we are going to go back. Come on, Eileen. Kind of Henry looking a little menacing as he goes towards the camera instead of behind. Uh, it is this one. We are going down the one that will send us all the way down to the kitchen. And we're going to pretty much ditch Eileen because we kind of have to, at least at the beginning here. Later, Eileen. You'll be safe. All right, so I believe we're going to go down again. And we're going to channel our inner James from Silent Hill 2 and jump that hole down that hole. Once again. Okay, 
we have white toadstools. Is there anything down here? Nope. Oh, okay, so this is the actual chamber that Andrew was in, where he uh, met his demise, I guess. And we never actually got a proper time to roam around, so we actually got a time to roam around in here. And now we have a shirt with wax. Something written in wax. Take the shirt? Yeah, sure, let's do. It is the prisoner's shirt. So the prisoner's shirt. There's something written with it in wax. So maybe if we can soak it in some kind of colored liquid. Now remember colored liquid. Because we're going to go over here. That looks colored. It's blood colored. Let's use it. We can't use it here. Are you sure? Because I'm pretty sure that is a colored liquid. It is a liquid that is colored. And we cannot use that. So it's basically forcing us. We have to go back to the apartment and the big humongous mess that is in our bathroom. Uh, the big blood splatter. We got to put the shirt in that blood splatter. Apparently, all not all blood spatters are created equally. Oh boy! More toadstools. Oh. White toadstools. All right, got tons of stuff. What are you looking at? We got. We got. Is that a? Was that a drink? That is a drink, indeed. Is there anything more? There is something more. What is this? Is that something to read? It was a Saint Medallion? Hell yeah. Wait a minute, how could I see it? Oh, I guess I need to turn the camera. With a, uh, a slight... Oh, Saint Medallion. Always welcome. We're gonna go in here. Got some more toadstools. Take care of them. Choppy choppy. Chop that axe. Oh my goodness, let's go. Let's go. Alright, so it looks like we got bullets. Pistol bullets. Beautiful. Alright. Uh, I swear the the white toadstools and even the other toadstools are just glorified walls that just get in your way. Henry, how about the one you're close to? It's like, oh my god, I'm gonna hit the one that's across the the room from me. Instead of the one that's directly behind me. Because I'm Henry. What the hell? Alright. So... We can look through the holes again, but there's really no point. So we're going to go back up. And seeing that there's a giant puzzle here, we can't actually do anything. We can't turn the prison around because the handle's rusted over. So it is true. It is a lot e somewhat easier the second time through. So this is the only thing that we need to go up here for, is a letter sap. Even though I think it would be better a strap, but hey, let's do it. It's called a nightstick anyway. So it's the nightstick, it's an Eileen weapon only. It's, uh, you know, just in case you get into some S&M. There you go. Cool. Go back down. Come back down. And let's go down. All right. Go out here. All right, toadstool. We are going to go down. Uh, 
wants to take care of these toadstools, because why not? Run down the stairs, down the stairs, down the stairs. You kind of want to clear this area of toadstools. Because I'm not too sure if it affects something later, but it would be very beneficial if he did. Anyway, if we go down to the basement area... There's the basement area. We can go back to the apartment, but we really can't leave Eileen, so we gotta go back for Eileen. Let's, uh, let's look where I'm facing. I don't want to be running into things I can't see. Let's go up the stairs, up the stairs, more up the stairs. Great. And here's the toadstools. Alright. There's more of them. Oh my goodness, really? Oh my, and yet more. And yet more of them. Yeah, I'll just use my body to take care of them, because, sure, why not? There's more? Okay, there's apparently more, but I don't know where they are. Anyway, if we did come all the way down to here with Eileen, we would have noticed that the door is locked and we can't go beyond here. So we had to actually go down here, through the holes, and then we've got to go all the way back up to get Eileen and then come all the way back down again. Oh, it's a marathon run. <laughs> But before that, I'm going to take this health drink right here. And... Check out the first floor. Very quickly. Because there's not a lot here, and my inventory is almost full. It, well, it actually is full. Do I want it? No, I'll chug one of these. Because why not? Okay. Ooh, Hummers. Hummers? Really? Alright. Definitely want to kind of... Is there a third one there? I'm pretty sure a third one is there. No? Well, maybe not. Okay. Ooh, I'm really glad I used that health drink because guess what? We have a candle. Candle time. I know I can't go in all of these doors, or maybe I can. Oh, there's a twin victim. No, no, Henry, the giant thing that's hit is coming towards you. Can you target it, please? Oh my goodness gracious. Man. You know, I'm really kind of glad I actually took those health drinks right now. Come on, you bastardly bat. Come here. Come on, come on. Where are you? Bastardly bat. Take that. Uh, I don't see Henry moving his head, so there's nothing in that room. That's uh, locked. Broken. Same thing. Uh, can't hold it anymore. Do I need... Okay, remember that there is ammo in which room? Literally the room right beside there. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, so let us head back to the apartment. Okay, what is this? Oh, uh, we have an invited guest. Sure, 
I'll deal with you in the other room, actually. So luckily, I have some candles. Let's take care of this guy who is coming through the wall. Oh my god, did I use two candles or one? Oh man, I used two of them. Oh no. No! No! I didn't... No, I used two candles, no. Oh, I think I might have to... Oh, I'm definitely going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. And So if I have an extra candle... And I might actually pick up those bullets off screen also. So, just to save a bit of time. This red piece of paper. Check it out. It's a red piece of paper. Let's go with the thing. Let's see what it is. I'm going to summarize everything I've learned about Walter Sullivan so far. He was born right here in room 302 of a uh, South Ashfield. His parents abandoned him soon afterwards and disappeared somewhere, leaving the baby alone. He discovered and sent to St. Jerome Hospital. He was adopted by Wish House, an orphanage in the forest near Silent Hill that ran by the secret Silent Hill religious cult. When he was six years old, someone from the cult showed him where he was born. But since then, he started believing that th room 302 itself, in other words, this room was his mother. Every week he traveled from the orphanage to South Ashfield Heights, a pretty long trip for a kid his age. Sometimes he took the subway, sometimes the bus. I'm tired. This, head is, this headache is really killing me. I'll write more tomorrow. July 28th. Okie dokie. So he believes that this room is his mother. I've heard crazier, let's just say. Anyway, why is that candle still there? Both of them are still there. I'm, I'm getting a little eerie about that. Anyway, let's take these bullets. Uh, I'm going to get that Saint Medallion. And I would take the chain, but Eileen has it, so I can't. Oh yeah, we also got to do the shirt too, so let's do the shirt before I forget. So we got to go to the bathroom and soak this shirt in this pool of blood because, unfortunately, the prison blood-colored water isn't good enough, but this is. You soak the prison shirt in the puddle of blood. You can see white letters rising to the top. Let us see what it, the mysterious message says. My room on top of the second floor, and I had to drink something with black things in it. I hid the sword with the triangle handle under my bed. That guy, the fat one, took the basement key. Next time, I'll stick this triangle sword in that pig and take the key. Interesting. Interesting. We got a location for a possible sword that we can actually use. Interesting. But that also triggers something. So that is a story trigger. Oh, so I want to point out. Okay, so... Do I need anything right now? No, I do not need anything right now. Let us head back to get Eileen and head back down the prison. Because it's going to be a long trek. Oh my god. Let us get this thing over with. <laughs> 